Hi guys, Kaiser here, and welcome back to the Age of the World mod for Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition. We had a lot of fun with our last video looking at the Barataria Pirates, and so I thought it'd be fun to come back to this mod and show off another civilization that I think is really fun, really unique, and puts an exciting spin on the typical AoE 3 formula. That civilization is the Jesuits. So, let me go ahead and dive into a game here and I'll show off what makes them so special. Alright, Lithuania. Up against the British. Alright. And I gotta say, starting off, look at that town center. Isn't that cool? It starts off as just sort of a little bit of a, you know, a put together wooden hut. But it's going to grow into something quite thing. exciting. I'll heal the wound. Sure thing. I, yes, sir. All right. We start off with six villagers Hello. and three priests, three healers, and our explorer. Hello. Because we Far start with so here. many units, you have to get a house out right away. On my way. Yes. Yes, sir. I'll do it. Hello, hunter. <sighs> there we go. Yeah. Hello. Builder, on my way. Now, playing as the Jesuits, it makes an awful lot of sense that religion is going to be kind of a key feature of the Civ. And sure enough, we have our unique building, the Jesuit Church. Uh, it functions just like a normal church in AW3, except Hunter. that it also provides you a gold trickle. So that's pretty neat. Medic, your thing. Good day. Yes, sir. Let's see here. Orders, your thing. Actually, you know, a little more. Right. And uh, while we're going around gathering treasure, and of course, one of the strengths, I can get this explorer into a fight. And because I have these healers. You know, I could just heal right up. So, I believe as the Jesuits, you are well equipped to grab a lot of treasures very quickly. <sighs> Boom. And then you just get healed right up. You don't even have to sit around and wait. Now, while we're uh, while we're going around gathering treasure and exploring the map, let's talk a little bit about what yes. makes the Jesuits so unique. So, we've got our houses, which again, they use a unique Builder. model. Is that not the coolest thing? Orders. Um, they also have the town square, and this is perhaps the main feature of the Jesuits, and I think the thing that the mod should be leaning into even more heavily is the Jesuits are a half European, half Native American civilization. Which makes a lot of sense given the historical organization's Hello. focus as Hunter. a missionary Hello. group. They they go to these foreign lands and they live among the locals, right? So it, it makes sense to have kind of this mix of a European background with a Native American yes. play style. Yes. So the town square functions as the... And I'm forgetting what they call them now. It used to be the fire pit. Now it is the. Yes, yes, sir. On my way. I don't remember the name of it. Lumberjack. Oh, that's another thing, by the way. The the Jesuits I'll cannot collect gold way. from silver Orders. mines. They have to use, um. They have to use their churches in order to gather gold. Carpenter. That's another thing about the civilization is their gameplay revolves a, a lot around. Um using the churches in order to gather gold and you can send different cards and different bonuses in order to make the churches even more valuable which is pretty cool and it makes a lot of sense that you would have to play around churches as a jesuit yes. civilization yeah yes sir i'll do it that makes sense to me so right now at the town square we are generating gold by just sending bills to orders on my way take part and listen to the sermon there. Hello, I'll do it. We also have an, I can I go see these guys help out. I believe that's Good actually day, why we start with three priests is to help our town square. 
Because priests can also go and work here. We have our marketplace, which again, same same marketplace as normal, but really awesome new model for that marketplace. I love it. I absolutely love the aesthetic additions that have been made into this mod to make each of these civilizations feel really unique. It's fantastic, and to be perfectly frank with you, it's what I would want from the default European civilizations. I think that the, de the devs should go even further to make those European civs, the, the French, the Spanish, the Germans, uh, the British, more unique in doing things like this. All right. We can now choose our politician, and so this is, um, I yeah, this is one of those ways where, again, it's, it's similar to the Native American approach because you do have to pick a council member, and you have these five. Let's see. Let's send 500 food and two turkeys. That sounds good. Well, we found the British. Yes. <laughs> Notice how we have a really cool, unique version of the, um, it's normally the, uh, I forget what it's called, the shepherd's pen or something like that. Uh, but here we have the banquet table, which I believe is supposed to represent kind of the pilgrims. Carpenter. Orders builder. I'm not sure if that has, that's a uniquely Jesuit thing. Um, it actually would be cool if, if the pilgrims wound up in the game as kind of a, a spin off the Jesuits. That would make sense too, but I believe that's what they're referencing there. Either way, regardless, it is unique and it's pretty cool. There it is, the banquet table. You can send turkeys there to fatten up. And we actually have two turkeys coming in, so I'll send them. Alright, let's pick a furrier first, actually. Native lore, and then we'll also get Jesuit missionary. A Jesuit hero priest that can't die and functions as a normal priest. Very cool. Yes, orders, um, on my way. You guys should be food. Yes. Hello. Yes, Hunter. Now take a look at this town center. Is that not an awesome town center? Right? I mean, it, it, it follows the same structure, the general feel of the TC. You know, with that L shape and sort of the, the, the tallest part in the back, and then it splits off, right? So it follows that same TC approach, but it looks so unique to this civilization, and it fits that Jesuit mold so well. I love it. I love it. Now, Orders. turkeys. Where are the turkeys? Orders. Hey, wait a minute. Where did my turkeys go? I don't believe I'm missing turkeys. Orders. <sighs> Huh. Am I missing my turkeys? I have to go back and watch the video. I did not see them spawn. Alright. Yeah, so you see now there's this upgrade to what uh, everyone sends. Okay. So we can generate gold by creating churches. We can generate gold yes. by going to the town square. Yes. Hello. Yes, and I'm wondering, as we go through this, I'm wondering if we get more options, like with the, you know, the Indian version, the Native American version, is do you get other options, or is gold the function of the town square? Considering the description says Jesuit settlers can attend sermons to generate gold, that must be what's going on. Which I think Orders. might be a missed opportunity. I, I think having some... Some flexibility there could be fun. Although, given that this is the main way of generating gold, Hello. I understand. It makes sense. I also wish there were a way to see how much yes. gold is being generated. I don't know if it's possible to show that. Generate 6.76 coins per second. Okay. I'm guessing that's per settler. 
All right. Well, in the meantime, Orders. let's see what else we've got. We've got our outpost, trading post. Okay, we should get a trading post. We should. All right. Orders. That. We have the War Chapel. Uh, is that not amazing? War Chapel. Yes. Order. Go build a War Chapel. Lumberjack. Yes. Interesting how it shows there's zero coin gatherers. Would it be possible, if this is going to stay as a gold only building, is it possible to get the game to register these guys day, as sir. on gold? I don't know. Alright, so what do we have? We have Conquistador Swordsmen, Conquistador Archers. Guardian Clerics and Jesuit Riflewoman. Interesting. Hello. <clears throat> Orders on my way. Ooh, we yes. need to get some people on wood. Lumberjack. Yes. Lumber Lumberjack. Orders. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I will go ahead and share, what I want to do in this video is not only show off the Jesuits, but also kind of share my thoughts, share my opinions, and because these civilizations are being developed, they're, they're still changing a lot, I want to share my thoughts on what you could do with the Jesuits, given history and, and just yes, given the game. I'll do it. Um, one of the things that stands out to me is given the historical flavor of the Jesuits, like if we, if we were to rewind and talk about the Barataria Pirates from last time, uh, I mentioned how they should be the ultimate treasures civilization. You know, I, I would love to see yes. uh, ways and opportunities yes. for the pirates to be all about collecting treasure on the map, because that's just classic Hollywood pirates and that sort of thing. Anything about, like, uh, raiding and collecting gold through raids... Uh, collecting treasure, burying treasure, and that might be a little Hollywood, possibly, but the idea of yes, um, lumberjack. You know the the idea of leaning into the treasure theme, and maybe to a certain extent the mercenary theme with the pirates, because pirates love gold; they're all about gold. So you get a lot of gold, but then you need to spend a lot of gold. That kind of thing makes sense for the pirates. But this video is not about them. We'll talk about them some other day. With the Jesuits, I believe that this civilization should be the ultimate uh, native alliance civ. Because the whole point of the Jesuits Hello. as a missionary Gilded. evangelizing Lumberjack. force is to go out to these native camps and to convert them, to uh, to spread the gospel, and then to a, to a certain extent too, there's this, this sense of... Uh, European civilization. So it's all about intermingling with the uh, intermingling with the native camps, the native peoples, right? And so reflecting that in game, I think I'm right. I'm going. there should be some really unique and fun ways of doing that. I mean, so we've got like an, a, an age one native lore option, which is good. I think there's room for a lot more, and I would lean really heavily into that. Maybe something like, kind of what jumps to my mind, is to have yes. I'm right. I'm right. I'll these do conquistadors it. around. I'm going now. Uh, what would make sense to me is to is that their base roster would not be very strong. They they would not have a lot of good options. It, it, but what they would do, like let's say the the conquistador swordsman, for example. Just I'm using ready. him as an example. Right. Or, or call him call him like Jesuit Swordsman or something like that. And the Jesuit Swordsman what is, your I'll do is not necessarily the best yes. unit by himself. But he gives an aura for any native units that you're using. Right? 
And so the idea is you would train up one or two or three of these uh, Jesuit swordsmen or Jesuit riflemen or whatever, and that unit would provide a buff for the native units that you're supposed to be using. So the, so the native units become your main force, backed up by these uh, Jesuit units, which aren't great by themselves, or maybe maybe they're fine, but they cost a lot. So you wouldn't want to train a lot of Jesuit units. They're very expensive. But you train a couple of Jesuit units, plus a bunch of native units, and that is your, yes, I'm going now. your composition. Attack. Right? And then, maybe instead of a regular trading post, they're given some sort of unique... Um, a unique building mission school or something like that, you know, where uh, it, it, you get something special for being able to put down these these trading posts on the native camps. I don't know if you're able to separate out the trading posts on the camps from the trading posts on the the trade roads, but that would be pretty that would be pretty unique. I think is you get some kind of bonus for that, right? <clears throat> All right. The other thing, let's let's go ahead and talk about that. So, uh, that would be the first thing I do. I do love how their gameplay surrounds the churches. That makes a lot of sense. And if we look at their cards, which I believe they are currently working on, I don't believe that the deck right now is by any means finished. But if you see, we got a couple of unique cards, all about churches. Jesuit expansion allows the construction of more Jesuit churches. So ultimately, if you send this twice, it's two more churches. Divine Inspiration gives churches an aura that increases nearby villagers' gather rates. Atonement reduces the gold cost of mercenaries. And then Tithe Collection for the rest of the game, a small trickle of coin enriches you. Now what I would do is, uh, first off, as far as Tithe Collection goes, seeing as you already have Tithe as part of the churches, instead of making it just a generic trickle, I would maybe have this improve the gather rate of... The, the tithe rate of the churches, right? Uh, and sort of expanding on that. So anything that, like, leaning into the unique features of the Civ, I think is a good thing. What is your command? And I think set, having cards that give you more options, like, oh, now the, the, the church gives you an aura that improves the attack speed of nearby units. Oh, now, now the church gives you that work rate bonus. Right. Yeah. Yes, he's gonna be that Um, so that's something I think would be cool. I love the town square. Again, I think it might be fun to like maybe an age three and an age four, give it kind of some other options, possibly. Some flexibility there might be nice, but I like it. I like it just fine. And then the other thing, historically, that I think is interesting, the, the civilization gives a very Spanish flavor. You know, a lot of the units here, let's see. You know, we had the Conquistador as, as our H2 units, and I have not yet built a stable. But if we do build a stable, which again has an awesome model to it. Hello, order. I'll do it. All right, guys, come on. Let's go... Get some more. I'll do it, Hunter. Let's let's get the stable up real quick. Yeah, we have the Conquistador and the Conquistador Lancer, right? So a very Spanish flavor to the Jesuits. I'm ready. Right. I'll do it. Which on the one hand makes a lot of sense because you think, well, the Jesuits were founded by Ignatius and Loyola. Uh, a Spaniard, and you know that the the Jesuits were heavily related to Spain, so that does make sense. But the Jesuits actually worked alongside the French at least as much as they did the Spanish. Those were kind of their two main uh, civilizations, if you will, historically. So what I would love to see is actually some French flavoring. Whether that's in the politicians, so you can maybe you know fit something in here, or maybe in the units, maybe you have a card. Maybe their, maybe their main settler is the Spanish settler, but you can ship Correa de Bois or something like that, right? 
just giving them a wink and a nod to that French side because, again, doing some research on the Jesuits, there was a very significant French connection there and French patronage. So I think there's room there to do some things as far as, you know, just flavor and civilization linking. Yes, I'll write. And then probably, the, like oh, I was saying earlier, now. like I would make them, I would prioritize the Jesuits as being the native alliance civilization and finding new, unique ways of using native units, buffing native units, um, things like that. You might ask, well, what if you get a map where you don't have any native allies? Right? And in that case, what I would do, you know what? Hand cavalry ranged armor. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Gives just with churches an R that reduces nearby enemies' attack. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. <coughs> Excuse me. And then what I would do is. Um, you know, if you if you have a map where you don't have access to anything, to any uh, any city, then what I would do is I would have give them a building, Orders. give them the royal emb well, you know the the native out the native embassy, right? The royal embassy, right? Carpenter, builder, this lumberjack. Looks different, different maps, but I would give them that building that you know lets you train. I'd give them a unique version of the building that lets you train native allies, and you could. If, if you were on a map that didn't have any native allies, you'd be given, like, a couple of technologies that would let you call upon certain tribes the Jesuits historically had connections to. So maybe, you know, I'm, I'm off the top of my head, I'm not really sure. The one that jumps to my mind is actually Japan. Uh, the Jesuits did a lot of work in Japan. Um, but... You know, you just the, the different peoples that the Jesuits interacted with, you could click on these texts and ally with them, and then your armies would be based off of these places that the Jesuits have gone to and the, the converts they've made. And the uniquely Jesuit units, Jesuit swordsmen, Jesuit yes. lance, or whatever, would be these aura buff giving units, right? What is I'm going now. Right, I'll right. Otherwise, I mean, that, that's how that's what I would do as far as like a really unique uh, function for the civilization. Other than that, like if, if you were to scrap that idea and just say, okay, well, we just want Jesuit units. What is your right? command? I'm attack. Whoa, I'm attack hey, hey. Okay, let's, let's not send the cavalry into the python. What I should do. Let's get some riflemen out there. But if you weren't able to do that, well, then what I would do is just... Um, I would make a mix of Spanish and French units. And and not literally. Like, I'm, I'm not saying it has to be, um... I may not steer a lumberjack. I'm not saying it literally has to be the Rodolero and the uh, Chevalier and that kind of thing. But rather... But rather they are units that are French-flavored, French-themed, Spanish-themed. I make a mix of those. Yes, right. What can I do? And we have for in the art. What is this called? The artillery monastery. <laughs> you gotta love it. You gotta love it. All right, let's pick up. I'm gonna pick up. Um, Atonement, which reduces the cost of mercenaries by 25%. And then Mercenary Loyalty, which reduces it even further. And then I'm going to pick up these unique Merc units. Yes. Right. If the game is still going on by then. Now, in our Artillery Monastery, we have the Conquistador Cannoneer. Armored Cannoneer who fires a heavy musket, dealing... Siege damage. Yes. Hello. Carpenter. Let's... Builder. Carpenter. What can I do? I am so grief. Yes. Alright, there we go. Pikemen are down. 
Now, one of the things that I don't understand, we have the falconet and the organ gun in the artillery monastery. Now, I am not, again, I do not claim to be an Age of Empires 3 expert. I would say I'm still learning the game. But to my understanding, both of those guns have the same strategic function, which is they are artillery units that are better against infantry than buildings, as the tooltip says there. And the sieve that gets the organ gun does not get the falconet for that reason. It's a replacement. So in this case, I don't know why you would have both of these. Uh, I would probably pick one or the other. I'm ready. What can I do? Attack! I'll attack! I'm ready. Right. What can I do? Right. I'll do it. I'm ready. I'm going now. Right. Yeah, now these guys. Let's see. Yes. Let's see what they do. Yes. I'm ready. Attack! It looks yes. to me to like battle. they... Attack! What is your command? They don't have a lot of range to them. For three units, they're doing a pretty good job. Pretty good amount of siege damage. 54 damage apiece. What can I do? Right. I want to see how much damage they take from a garrison town center. Let me see if I can get these guys to garrison. Right. I'll do it. Attack! Right. I'll do it. Oh, this is pretty cool. They're using that ex explorer skin. All right, here we go. Now, yeah, I'm ready. They seem to be doing pretty well damage-wise, but they take a lot of damage from town center. So I, I don't think you're supposed to use these guys as a as a TC destroying force, you know? Yes, orders? Hello. Hmm. On my way. Hunter. Yes. <coughs> Excuse I'm me. Go, Sorry. I'll do it. All right, let's go up to age four. Yes. Oh, hey, you know what? I never did eat these turkeys. Hey, they're the turkeys I was missing. Remember, I was earlier complaining about those turkeys. Well, there they are right there. All right. Orders. Let's On do my this way. Real quick. I'll do One, it. Two, On my three, way. Four, yes, five. I'll do it. Lumberjack. Yes. On my way. Yes. I'll do it. On my way. Yes. Lumberjack. There we go. And we will pick up the War Hut Warrior. Horse Bombard. Powerful heavy artillery from the foundries of Europe. Very nice. I'm going to guess this is their alternative to the mortar. What can right. I'll do it. Right. I'll do it. I'll attack. <laughs> In fact, you know, something else you could do, too, because, well, I like how this sieve is half European and half uh, kind of the, the native sieves, the Native American sieves. So I don't know if we would want to um, notice, by the way, look at how the, the artillery monastery has now become quite the monastery, quite the church there. War Chapel looks cool, looks cool. I believe that this building has been changing some. It's been growing. Houses, yeah. It's just neat. I love the model changes that they've made. It's really, really cool. Alright, let's go ahead and pick up some Fusilier. But I was saying, something that you could do too, when I was talking about the French and the Spanish, is actually give them kind of that Asian function of, you know, picking an ally, right? Whereas a Jesuit camp, you end up picking some kind of patron. But I don't I don't think so. I think that's maybe too many moving parts. But I, I could see it where you say, oh, well, I'm going to pick a Spanish backing. Or I'm going to pick a French backing. Or an Italian backing. Like a Rome backing. And that would give you different bonuses. I could see something like that. That might be really neat. It might also be 
too many moving parts for a civilization that has already got quite a few things going for it, right? But when it comes to the, the Native American half of it, I, I think that the big thing is the, the use of the town square and the use of the the politicians taking on that uh, you know tribal council model. Right, so I, I think those are the two main things. If you were to forego those, you know, if, you, if those were removed from the civilization, you, you had to gather gold through churches and some other method, right? If you were like that and you sort of lost that side, well, then I would argue for adding in the uh, the Native American, I'm sorry, the, uh, the Asian way of doing some kind of patron or something like that. Yes, sir. Should we? Should we? Yes. Hello. Wait, so... Yes, I'll do it. We have a lot of gold. You know what I could use? With Hello. all of this gold, I should build a saloon, a tavern. Builder. Lumberjack. I'm ready. I'll, I'll do it. Votre oui. Très bien. All right, and let's go and pick up some uh, heavy cannons and end this thing. Oui. Je le ferai. Oui. But as you can see, this is a really exciting civilization. I just, I love the ideas that this mod comes up with. Really excited to see what they do in the future. Yes, carpenter, builder. Carpenter, lumberjack. Yes. All right. So once again, I'm going to have in the description below in the video, you know, a link to the mod and the Discord and all that. But one of the things that I think would be interesting is I want you to leave a comment. Tell me what you would do with the Jesuits. What is your right, wh how would you uh, make any changes to the things you would love to see added to the mod? I'll, I'm going there. Are, there any, are there any civilizations that you think would be fun? Um, any features right. that you would love to see in Age of Empires 3? What are my targets? Ready. All right. As you can imagine, a big old bombard cannon takes its sweet, sweet time getting anywhere. Votre ordre, à l'attaque! I'm ready. But once it does. Bom, 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 One, two. Oh, that's ready to fire. Ouch. Ready. Ouch. Yes, sir. Ready. What are my targets? Yes, sir. Charge it. Yeah, if there's any question about this game being over or not, I would just solve that. Over here. Boom. Ready. Ready. I'm ready. Right. Something else I would like to see. I'm going. Uh, I don't know the function of the guardian cleric. Looks like he's got a strong hand attack. 
and some significant HP. So maybe it's just a frontline unit. One of the things I'd like to see that the mod does is they use a lot of treasure guardian units. We saw this with the Baratari Pirates, and we see this as well with the Jesuits. They use units like the Plague Doctor, and it keeps the same description as the Bandit version. It'll just say, oh, this marauding Plague Doctor is protecting his treasure. And that's the description that is used for the Civilization unit. And if the mod is going to keep those units as trainable, buildable units, I would love to see the description updated to actually describe how they're supposed to function in the civilization. Like, what is, what are these guys good for? What do they do? In the case of the cleric, uh, yeah, strong melee attack. I mean, I guess, I guess that's fairly good. Um... Oh, the thing is, it's a cleric. I think it'd be cool if they had some kind of heal power. But, um... Or again, make this. This guy could be the cleric. Could be the main unit that you have as the Jesuits. Like I was talking about. You know, you have this Jesuit unit that gives an aura buff to native camps. Maybe that's the guy. Maybe you, you, you make the unit out of, out of him. But uh, as you're using those... Uh, the, those treasure camp guardians, I'd love to see the description updated to indicate how they're supposed to function. Anyway, I think that's it for the Jesuits. This is a really awesome civilization, and uh, I really, really enjoy playing with these guys. So, leave me a comment below. You like the video? Like the video. If you like what I've got on this channel, please subscribe. I'm loving putting out Age of Empires 2 stuff, Age of Empires 3 stuff, maybe some other things in the future, but uh, having a lot of fun with this mod and want to give uh, my kudos to the dev team. They're doing a really good job. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Otherwise, for now, this is the Iron Kaiser signing off.